how to rent house in Thailand for a month or several months or half a year uh, you can use uh, services like airbnb.com or similar to find some property but if you need a really cheap property you should come to the city you want and uh, start searching by walking around it's better to start your searching from district where there is university or some schools but uh, if you know these uh, districts and uh, it's better to use uh, sim card the internet uh, to have uh, google translate and uh, you should translate uh, to Thai language phrase like uh, I searching for the room or for the house for one month or two months and just show this to the owners of hotels for example in uh, Thratani uh, it's small non-touristy calm city uh, in uh, the southern Thailand you can rent such kind of house it's not really house it's a two room uh, building just on one floor I think you can rent it for 5,000 baht and without anything inside so it's absolutely empty you should buy everything you see sign that there are rooms for rent for 3,000 and a half uh, baht per month here. Uh, you can rent a room here or here. But the last one is kind of expensive. I think about 7 to 10,000 per month. Uh, by the way, there are many such kind uh, building here uh, where you can rent a room for uh, different price from it's about four to seven thousand baht per month uh, you can also rent such kind of room it's very very cheap about one and a half thousand baht but it's uh, very uncomfortable no i think no fan no air conditioning and it's very small and dark you can find many such signs in the city uh, for example this one tells us that uh, daily price uh, 590 and uh, monthly price 4500 the price depends on city in Suratani is very cheap but in some tourist cities uh, you can find uh, much more expensive price maybe uh, twice or three times more expensive and in Thailand there is a rule that you should pay deposit uh, at least uh, one month ahead so if you want some property for one month you should pay for two and uh, after you finish renting you just uh, get back your monthly paid and uh, you should pay for water and electricity separately but it's not uh, kind of expensive eventually we found a room here the name of this place is garden so let's go inside and look And eventually for 4,700 baht uh, we got a huge size bed uh, 
wardrobe, TV set with satellite receiver, fridge, table, uh, chair, uh, nice balcony, but a bit small one, uh, bathroom, this bathroom, towels, bed linen, air conditioning, of course you definitely need it in Suratani. Uh, so we paid 4700 plus 200 for cleaning, plus electricity and water and uh, plus 5000 deposit. So this it sometimes bed linen uh, isn't included uh, in price so you should ask what uh, what is included and uh, of course Wi-Fi so it's easy to find such uh, room so you will definitely find something subscribe to my channel good luck See ya! After we did a uh, checkout, I want to add that we paid uh, 7400 baht. And, uh, but we were supposed to pay 4700 baht. So we paid for electricity. We paid about 2000 for electricity, about 200 for water and uh, 200 for cleaning. So we used air conditioning almost all the time and spent around 300 kilowatt of energy. So electricity is very expensive with such kind of hotels and uh, it's better to rent a house, it's much cheaper uh, because you pay to electricity company and it would be much cheaper. So, that's it. Good luck.